You have a message. Well, go on, real fam. I'm back. Welcome back if you're one of my OG subscribers. And welcome if you're new. Hopefully you like the video enough to subscribe. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about my diagnosis of... So, I'm going to talk about this briefly because now that I'm realizing more and more what's going on with my body in certain aspects, people have been asking me about my... Well, about what's going on with me regarding certain things and I'm going to explain if you guys don't know me in real life which the majority of you watching this video probably don't then you don't know that I have had back problems for a long time I've had back problems ever since I was young constantly and it's not because I didn't have an actual bed growing up I had a mattress um I didn't always have a bed frame at times there were times where I didn't have a bed frame but I don't really think that matters. I don't really think that had a part to play in my back issues, but you know, I've been had a lot of back issues. I, I have a lot of back pain. My shoulders, extremely tense all the time. Like I'd be having rocks in my shoulders. I had to buy a massager to help me out because my husband was tired of massaging me almost every day. Y'all, it was ridiculous. Um, yeah, my shoulders be like rocks at times. I'm gonna explain where all that comes from. Now, I have not had yet. Now, I have not had the opportunity to go to a chiropractor for years, of course, because y'all know I have five kids and y'all know chiropractic fees are like way up there. Um, I have not had the chance until this year. This year, I finally got to um, do a couple of chiropractic sessions. Not a whole lot, but you know, a little something, something. So I went. Uh, and they diagnosed me, they did the x-rays and everything, I told them all the symptoms I was having and everything that, that I believe went along with it and why why I believed it even existed and blah 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 because I wanted to see what was going on with my back, my lower back of course I already know my stomach is big and it's not in the best of shape because I had five kids and that also contributes to my back pain, my lower back pain but I was having a whole bunch of other symptoms that went along with my back for years and like I said I didn't know for sure what it was I've had severe neck pain. My neck pain, y'all, has been going on for over a year consistently. Like, not because of any thyroid issues. Although I do have thyroid issues, but it was like this genuine neck pain. Even now, I have severe neck pain for years. And I, I've been concerned about it. My husband and I, we've been concerned about it. But again, didn't have money to go to chiropractor till now. So, I went this year. And y'all, my diagnosis was just as I thought it was. In a way, well, I didn't really think about scoliosis per se. However, that's what they diagnosed me with. They told me I have scoliosis. As well as, uh, what did they call it? Uh, I think it was like disc compression or something like that. Uh, they didn't give me an exact name for my neck diagnosis or what's going on with my neck. But with my back, I definitely have scoliosis. Um... I don't have my x-rays here to show you. They didn't give it to me to keep. But, yeah, I have scoliosis. And I was surprised because I thought you only got scoliosis from, like, carrying, like, really heavy things over time. Like, a whole lot of heavy stuff. Like, when I was, um, in middle school, the teachers would warn everybody, you know, about their books or whatnot. About carrying, like, those heavy-ass textbooks to school. Y'all know the deal on that. And my parents, they didn't want me to get scoliosis from that, so I started bringing a rolling backpack to school. You know, one of those luggage things that people tease me for, but I didn't give a damn. I didn't want to mess with my back. <laughs> so I started using that instead of wearing, you know, a big old book bag thing on my back. So I don't believe I got scoliosis from that. Because early on, I was pulling my bag. The, bag, the shit was heavy. Um, I don't believe it, it came from that. But when they told me I had scoliosis, it, it all came to fruition. Like what I originally thought caused my back problems was true. Basically, I got scoliosis, not from having five kids, but more than likely from my childhood, from being abused. Now, I've said this in the past, I've said this in past, way past videos, y'all can look at all that if you want. But I believe I got the scoliosis from my father being on top of me all the time because he was obese, like over 400 pounds obese. 
he was a big man and he was always on top of me or bending me in some weird position but majority of times he was on top of me in some way a lot of times he was pressing his entire weight on me and did not realize probably or didn't care and i couldn't get him off that's why i used to fight a lot i used to fight him and a lot of times to no avail but imagine all that weight pressing on you i mean in many ways it was like different ways you either you know get on top of me or fight me in some kind of way now i know all that weight on my back as a young child messed me up i already know that's where it came from and that's what i told the doctors that i believe happened to me <clears throat> or where i might have gotten it from and what happened is over the years it just got worse when we having five kids i believe it not caused but aggravated or triggered my scoliosis to get worse of course with along with age i'm 35 now um like i said having five kids on top of that issue that i never got fixed from the get-go because no one helped me get it fixed no one really you know had the means to help me with any of that i believe that's what happened and it was a very emotional day for me to find that out my husband he was distraught of course it was very emotional you know he was practically crying in the chiropractor's office because it was yeah it was as he thought as well and he was just like oh my god and it was a very sad diagnosis but the saddest part is we're the ones that have to pay to fix it we have to pay almost well based on what that chiropractor told us it's about seven thousand dollars to get my back fixed mm. oh my god so that's the diagnosis like i said not only the scoliosis but i need to get several back realignments and a bunch of like laser fixes they have this laser machine that i haven't gotten to try it but my neck y'all is all out of whack my neck is inverted if you know what your neck's supposed to look like or if you don't know what your neck is supposed to look like your spine i'll insert a picture somewhere but you'll see how your spine is supposed to be realigned or supposed to be aligned my neck is going the other direction my neck is going the, the other direction from where it's supposed to be and that's why i have constant neck pain and a lot of other issues come with that allergies um sleepless nights a bunch of stuff y'all can look it up on your own but there's a lot of stuff i've been dealing with. i i you know a lot of my health issues come from my scoliosis as i have realized and it's just been bad along with the ptsd i'm carrying all that has affected my shoulders as well so my neck and shoulders are constant are in constant pain like constant and it just hasn't been fun i am just glad that i got the diagnosis so i know fully what's going on now and again it's a lot of money we don't have it you know like i said i started a couple of treatments but we don't have it to do it like that all the time and we're just gonna have to work on that but right now i'm just pissed i'm very i've been very pissed i've accepted it but i've been pissed for a long time about this and yeah the worst part about it is when i told my mother i just felt like telling her just for the hell of it i just text her about it and she didn't really give me any remorse or sympathy she was just like oh well, i have scoliosis too or you know the doctor told her she had scoliosis when she had my sister way back when i'm like that's kind of irrelevant to the situation she didn't really acknowledge my pain at all um and that infuriated me as well but it is what it is you know your parents fuck you up and then you gotta pay for it you gotta pay for it so that's where we're at right now that's my diagnosis of my spine my spine's all fucked up neck and everything my anxiety is shot to hell <laughs> always has been like i said i have um compressed discs i think is what it's called i have a lot of issues on my spine and i know where it came from my obese father being on top of me so yeah i just wanted to share this with you guys because again this stuff is important it's a very important diagnosis and i just want to let you guys know if you have been abused and you've had an obese person on top of you or anything like that you might have the same diagnosis 
get checked out when you can and yeah all right well i've got to get off because my kids are about to come out here and eat lunch so let me know your thoughts and opinions down below leave some comments leave your experiences down below and we'll talk about it let me know if you want a part two of this video if you want more information about it i'll see what i can do